on Jeff's table. Let's do lunch executive style inside the Andaz Wall Street, where they serve up a steaming bowl of mussels by executive chef Maximo Lopez May. Hi, my name is Maximo Lopez May. Uh, this is my beautiful, lovely restaurant called Wall and Water at the Andas Hotel. And it's obviously on the corners of Wall and Water streets in downtown Manhattan. And we are a nice uh, farm to table restaurant. Basically, what I do is I select very special products, try to manipulate them as little as possible, and serving a honest, yummy plate of food. For example, some of the dishes you might encounter here while you come, depending on the time of the year, because we're all about seasonal products, so that changes a lot and very frequently. Sometimes seasons are very short, so I have a dish in the menu for a very short time. Like uh, now I have a beautiful burrata, a uh, summer burrata, it's a mozzarella cheese basically, which is stuffed with the cream of the cheese. So it's beautiful, fresh, and we serve it with fresh figs that uh, are very short season. We put a little bit of olives, red onions, herbs, and it's just beautiful. Another dish that you might encounter coming over here, it's a blossom and, and flower salad. Basically, also I pick edible flowers, nice sprouts and blossoms, a little herbs, olive oil, aged balsamic vinegar, parmesan cheese, and it's just lovely. The actual space is very open, as you can see. We have this amazing kitchen. So people feel almost in their houses and, and there's a lot of interaction between the guests and the cooks and the servers and that's what we are all about, just breaking barriers, feeling closer to the guests and giving a more personal style. So one of the dishes you may encounter coming over here, it's some steam mussels and I prefer to cook them in summertime because that's when I find them to be the sweeter and the meatiest. Uh, so basically what we're gonna do is a very straightforward four or five ingredients on one dish. I, I always say that the perfect dish has five ingredients of, or less. And in this case it's true. But it's very important that those ingredients are chosen very carefully and treated very carefully. Uh, so for example, what I'm gonna do to begin with and because it takes the longest, I'm gonna cut a lemon in half like I just did. And I'm going to burn them on a nice pot, really hot. Uh, this is a beautiful pot. I'm going to talk about it a bit more in detail in, uh, in a minute. But uh, what I want to do is caramelize the lemon. And I know it sounds strange to caramelize a lemon, but what happens is the sugar content in the lemon, as it heats up, uh, develops a, a deeper flavor. The same way, the same difference you can taste from regular sugar to caramel happens on a lemon as well. Even though the percentage of sugar is a lot smaller, the flavor intensifies and changes. So while we're burning the lemon, and let me show you how that happens quite quickly, and, and you don't want any, anything on it but a hot pot and the lemons. We're gonna add a nice Fresno chilies. These uh, Fresno chilies are not that spicy, but they're really fragrant. So we're gonna add on the lemon, the chilies as well. So we have that there. Also some nice elephant garlic. This is a type of Japanese garlic, which are really big cloves. If you, if you look at one clove, it's almost the size of my palm. So that's pretty cool. And they're a little milder in flavor than regular garlic. So in we go with the garlic, cutting in half so it's nice and we can get all the oils out of it in we go with the garlic so we have chili lemon garlic can't go wrong and these are our beautiful mussels we're going to choose a fragrant sauvignon blanc and a good splash of olive oil and that's what's going to make the sauce while the wine evaporates emulsifies with the olive oil and creates that nice thick, yummy sauce that we like with the mussels. The only ingredient that we're missing is parsley. I don't like the parsley to be chopped too finely because I think it loses all its texture and fragrance. We're just gonna chop it two or three times only to make the leaves a little smaller. It's okay if there's a little stem in there, but that's gonna give 
texture to it. So that every now and then, you're gonna chew on a little uh, parsley and it's gonna be fragrant and beautiful. Let's look at the lemons. And that's how they caramelize. Nice, nice and sweet. And in we go with everything else. One go. And the only other ingredient that we need for this dish, it's hunger and thirst. We're gonna have a nice white wine or a beer and think about what's happening in the pot. We have the wine boiling furiously and emulsifying with the olive oil and the acidity yet sweetness of the lemon and the, the fragrant freshness of the herb make this a perfect dish. Again, it doesn't need to be complicated to be perfect. And this is what we're all, all about. Simple, yet sophisticated, you know, casual, yet delicious, and, and to be honest, quite unusual. And the good thing about this pot, on top of being shaped as a muscle itself, uh, it has a little separation inside, and that helps me to eat the sauce while uh, I can separate the mussels. And let me show you. It only took about a minute or two, and the mussels are already open. You can see how the sauce is nice and emulsified. And this is ready. And this beautiful little um, separation here helps me be able to dip the bread into the sauce and enjoy. So come to Wall & Water and enjoy this dish with me. We'll be back with Chef May in the kitchen dishing up his rich and gooey mac and cheese.